What's going on everybody? It's your favorite Auntie Mo and we are back for another episode review of The Real Black China. And I'm so excited to bring you this episode because this is the last episode of the season. Yes. You know your auntie don't like reviewing the show, but I do it for you. Mm. This is season one, episode 13, from Pillar to Post. Before we get into the review, if you have not done so just yet, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And then hit the notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Show enough appreciate you. Let me know that you stopped by. If you're a returning subscriber, what's going on, man? <laughs> Did you miss your auntie? Auntie Show Enough missed you. Y'all. No, that of all the shows that I review, this is the one that I enjoy watching the least. It really is. I started off so confident about this show. I was liking it, you know what I'm saying? But then I, each episode, it just got more and more stale and boring to me. And I just did not like the person that... um. I've grown to know at the end of the real black China. Um, this real black China, I I had no idea. And um, yeah, one of my nieces out there, y'all asked me, was I gonna be reviewing Tokyo Tony uh, Tonyo show? You know what I'm saying? Look here, I'm gonna review the first episode for you, cause you specifically asked me. You know what I'm saying? But whatever happened after that. You know what I'm saying? Just what happened because baby, boo boo, wee wee, this was painful. Just this whole season. It's like, girl, China, really? Mm. But hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I am ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. I got my sangria with my squawberries. Let's get it. All right, so it picks up where it left off last time. Jamal done locked himself up in the room at a guest house where he was staying at. He done barricaded himself in there, claimed he naked because he's trying to pack up all the rest of his stuff. He said he don't want to be on camera, right? Three police officers are there, plus Lynn. Lynn is the attorney. They all begging and pleading for this dude to open up the door. Now, after a while, it started to get on my nerve. It's like, Jamal, open up that damn door and let them people in there. God, you wasting everybody's dog on time. Finally, he let him in there. They all go in there. He says he let them in there because he wants them to see that he had no damage done to nothing, right? He starts taking the stuff out to his car. It's a guy from TMZ out there. He's asking like 50 million something questions. Jamal then starts getting into it with another guy that was on China's team. Now, I thought maybe that was Alex at first, but it wasn't Alex. It was some totally different guy. Jamal is telling the guy, the TMZ guy, like, no, it ain't going well over here. She didn't put me out. I left her because she's crazy. Now, he's telling all of this to TMZ, knowing that they stay camped out in front of her house just so they can catch something going on. He put his stuff in the car, look like he finna leave. Then he starts arguing with somebody else, goes back in like he's going towards the house, then he goes inside the garage, locks himself inside the garage. At this point, I mean, it started to get a little bit weird. I was like, okay, now what is he doing? What is his end game here? Like, what are we? But then, you know, he, he had stuff in the garage that he was trying to get. But the fact that you go in there and lock yourself in there, that make you like a crazy person. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm just saying. It just, the whole scenario was like, dang, boy, did you have to do all of that? So, Lynn is sitting up there looking through the garage doors, watching everything he's doing. they like, um, he done barricaded one door, locked another door. They think that he disabled a garage door, something like that, although he said he didn't disable the garage door. Either way it go, he was in a garage, barricaded in there for I don't know how long. Then he comes out with a bag and a um, suitcase. So he ends up taking that to the car, still um, talking with TMZ, talking to another dude. Finally, um, Lynn, right before he leaves, Lynn is like, okay, do you have everything that you need? Because I don't want you coming back later saying that we stole anything or we're withholding anything. He's like, look, she won't let me into the main house, so I don't know. I don't know if I have things in there or not. I can't say because I can't put my eyes on it. She won't let me in there. So she was like, well, are you saying that you have nothing in there? And so him and Lynn started going back and forth, y'all. It was, I watched this for y'all. I watch this ish for y'all because when I tell you, I now listen, I ain't gonna lie, I had to watch the rest of it when I got off work today because when it came on last night, I fell asleep on it. 
because it was just like, what is, what is this? What is this I'm watching? And so when I watched, when I came home from work, I was like, oh my God, what am I watching? So y'all, that went on for I don't know how many more minutes after that, he ended up getting in his car finally and he leaves. I was like, thank God, because this argument was going on for far too doggone long. The police was even said, okay, sooner or later, this is finna get to a trespassing issue. Cause you now going in here, you barricading yourself in there like you, like, like what is you doing? But y'all, he finally left, it's over. She said she gonna move on from it. She wants to go do something to get her mind off of all the drama that's been going on. So what is trying to do to get her mind off of everything that's going on? Her and Lear Galore, I don't know if y'all remember Lear Galore a lot. She's like um, the ex-old lady of, uh, what's the dude name? Rick Ross. Ugh, that dude. So they end up going and having like a sexy photo shoot in the desert somewhere. Now, I ain't gonna lie. The photo shoot was bad. Their bodies was banging. The car that they were on was bomb. The whole scene set up was nice and all of that. But it was like, okay. But, you know, people do different things to cleanse themselves and to de-stress. And that was her way of de-stressing by going to the desert half naked and taking photos. Her whole thing is as long as it breaks the internet, that's all that matters. As long as she gets attention... Period, poo. She okay. Afterwards, oh, but before I get to that, y'all, they on the bus. It's her, Lear Galore, and Alex. That's her makeup artist. He's also the creative director behind the photo shoot that they did, right? They on the bus, getting ready to go to the photo shoot. His assistant, her phone ended up ringing. China got this look like, who the hell phone is that ringing? The girl looking scared as hell. She's like, oh, I'm sorry, my phone. Baby, China gave her that look like, hell, but don't you know, can't nobody else phone ring around me but mine if it ain't your phone it don't need to be doggone reading it if it ain't jesus on the main line your phone don't need to be doggone reading i mean ring it baby she gave her that look i was like dang girl i'm not gonna have my phone ring around her obviously she don't like that but y'all afterwards her and lyra were talking about you know the whole situation with how she's lost frenchie and ashton and jamal and treasure and lyra says that you know the people who are around her were only meant to be there temporarily. Lyra said her being her friend, she never wanted to say anything about the people around her, but she didn't think the people around her were good either. And so, you know, she says that, you know, she's really hurt by the things that Treasure said. So Lyra's like, you know what? I've got an idea of what we can do to take your mind off of everything. We're gonna go and do a sip and see. We're gonna have though a paint and sip or sip and paint Paint see, sip and see, sip and paint. What they doing is drinking wine and they gonna paint a portrait of a naked man. Y'all, there was absolutely no substance to this episode whatsoever, but I'm auntie doing it for y'all. Y'all, so they go to this paint and see, right? Or paint and sip. I'm not gonna get that right. Here in Texas, what we call it? Painting with a twist. I don't know what they call it anywhere else. It's paint with a twist. But we don't have no naked muses. You know what I'm saying? It's like a class. And they got that all around. Y'all know what the hell that is. But if they do have some classes where it's, you know, some live male models like that, I mean, I would like to see. I would just like to see, like, how what a class is that? Is it on Groupon? Like, let me know, because I got that app. But, um... So they end up going to this paint class, right? It's China Lear and they homegirl Brittany. Now, when they get in there, it's a big buck, cock, strong, cock, diesel, black dude standing in there, butt naked. Like, what's up? Y'all ready to paint? There go your easel, there go your paint. Here go the masterpiece, let's go. They was all like, oh damn, okay. All right, like they was nervous. And you know what I noticed? Okay, so with most of these reality shows, a lot of the stuff is scripted, but you know with China's show, it's supposed to be like raw, uncut, right then and there what happened, right? So a lot of the, so she's not good with coming up with conversation and scenarios to kind of keep the viewer interested. So like her and Lyra and Brittany, it was real awkward, that scene. It's like they, they were searching for a conversation is what it looked like to me. Again, 
I was in and out, in and out, because I was like, okay, what are we doing? Okay, what are we doing? What are we doing? So I was in and out, but for me, it just looked like, you know, they were more or less searching for a conversation. And so they were just mainly asking him a lot of questions like, okay, so you single? Um, are you a porn star? Um, is that really how your voice sounds? Um, can you turn to the side? Can you turn to the back? Ooh, sun's out, bun's out. Um, okay. It was just real like, what? what is this? What is we doing right here with this? It was just really silly to me, guys. It was really, really silly. Afterwards, they had these pictures. They presented it to the guy. Like, he picked which one he liked best. I think it was Britney. Y'all. This show is, ooh. So, y'all, let's get to the last and final part that I really did like about of all these seasons, this was the part I liked. It, it ended sort of the way it started, right? Now, Tonio came over to China's house. She said, if y'all see me, like, moving around, trying to take my socks off, y'all. Nigga, beat got hot. But, um, Tonio and Wasi, or Wasabi, that big old cop, him, they end up coming over to China house, right? So, she wants to, like, sit down and have this conversation with her since so she called her last week to let her know, like, Jamal is the final survivor off the island. Speaking of survivor, I wonder if survivor is on. Because I want to watch that new season. I don't know if there's any survivor fans out there, but not let me let me know if it's back on because that is my show. But... So, Tonio come over there to the house, hung with Sabi, and so, Tonio and China, they sitting down talking. And so, what I really did like is China was like, you know, I just want me and you to get back on a page where me and you are good, we're not fussing, we're not fighting. I mean, of course, we're going to have our, dis uh, our differences, but... I realized that I have a problem with communicating and I don't always say what I feel and that I need to work on how, how I communicate and how I say things because I know I can come off a little harsh, a little strong. Like, China admitted everything like, you know, I know I'm wrong for this, 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 and this. Please forgive me. I want us to work on our relationship. Tonio forgave her. Tonio was like, vice versa. I know me getting on the internet and saying what I said, I know that was wrong. And I shouldn't have did that. That was foul. And I want us to work on our relationship because I want to be a better mother to you. China was like, I want to be a better daughter to you. Like that end part right there, I was like, oh, black girl magic. Brown skin girl. I was proud of that right there. And y'all... The episode pretty much ended from there. It really ended like, you know, Tony on Wasabi end up leaving the house. They going somewhere else, like I guess to a hotel. I don't know. But um, at the end, she's reflecting on everything that happened from episode to episode. You know, from Wendy Williams to her and Treasure to her and Jamal to what happened with her and Fresh. She like, you're seeing like different clips of everything that happened, you know, throughout these last couple of shows. That's why I think this is the last and final episode, which I'm so happy for. But... You know, all in all, she says she wants to work on herself. She wants to continue to work on her music. She wants to continue to build her brand. She wants to find a husband because she says she wants to have more kids. She wants to produce more shows. And all in all, she just wants to get in her bag. And I am mad at you, China. But at the end, at the very beginning and the very end, you showed us Angela Brene White. All that stuff in the middle was Black China. And that was like... Whew. But, um, y'all, that was the episode right there. Like I said, for Manisa out there to ask me, yes, auntie will watch the first episode of Tonyo's show. Y'all, that look like it's going to be a hot damn mess. A hot granny fall is what the hell it's meant to be. But look here. If I missed anything, please don't forget to put it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And auntie Mo, we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.